in a very, very surprising turn of events, Clip Studio Paint listened to their user base, who, after announcing they were going to install basically a stable diffusion portal into their software, woke up this morning, got a little little message in the old Discord here. They have completely walked that back. And uh, I'm going to read you their press statement here or their release that they put on their website here. This is good news. Here's what it says. It says, we apologize for the anxiety and concern we have caused regarding the announcement of the image generator palette on November 29th. After the initial announcement, we received a lot of feedback from the community and will no longer implement the image generator palette. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> If, if they didn't do this, my prediction, and it wasn't even really a prediction, what was essentially going to happen was they were going to crash and burn. Their, their app would be done. Everybody would cancel their subscription. There's no, there's no AI artists using Clip Studio Paint. It was pretty tone deaf and probably based on greed. But here's what they said about it. It says, here are some concerns that we have taken to heart. Now, regardless if this is really where it's coming from or not, it doesn't matter. This is what they're saying, and the bottom line is they listen to their user base. So, current image generation AI exploits other artists' intellectual property and is unusable. Amen. It's just what it is, regardless of what your position on this tech is. It's just a fact. It's pretty much undeniable. No matter what kind of techno babble you try to use to defend it, it's just a fact. And I don't care if anybody wants to say, "Have you ever tried doing this and fine tuning that and this?" And I'm like, "No, it's just it's it's not how, it's not what it is. It's not what it is." It also goes to say, this feature will hinder rather than help artists in their creative activities. Sure, using artist work that is not opted into a data set is ethically unacceptable. Yeah, no shit, but thank you for typing it here. I do certainly appreciate that. And the fear that this will make Clip Studio Paint artwork synonymous with AI-generated work. I mean, pretty much you would be trading your user base out. So all the time you spend developing tools, building a user base of people who use your software, you would be essentially betting on trading them out for a new user base of AI artists who already have access to Stable Diffusion essentially for free. It goes on to say, there are existing features that need to be prioritized over image generation AI features. So that's interesting because I did see a lot of comments talking about, hey, like instead of this dreck, why don't you like improve this tool or improve that tool or maybe give us, you know, give the community things that are useful. And maybe they actually read those comments. But there is an interesting word here and that says prioritized. So when you say prioritized, that implies to me that it's still on the table. So they might just be thinking that this was bad timing, you know, especially considering what happened with DeviantArt just a couple of weeks ago. It goes on to say, having something unknown in the app I use daily potentially infringing on legal and moral rights is unacceptable. Clip Studio Paint should be an app that takes responsibility for a safe and creative environment. The image generator palette was developed with the hope that we could provide a new way to experience creativity. However, we had neglected to take necessary considerations. I mean, that's a nice way of saying we thought we could kind of cash in, but then, you know, we kind of got the, the crap slapped out of us. And justifiably so. We were so preoccupied with how generative AI technology could be used creatively that we lost sight of what our core users want from Clip Studio Paint as a creative tool. We would like to sincerely apologize. Celsius will not be implementing any image generator AI features in Clip Studio Paint that present this kind of concern and will listen more sincerely to the opinions of creators. We will redouble our efforts to provide features that can be used with peace of mind by all artists. And I'm going to just go ahead and say, 
This is obviously a win for the art community. When Adobe rolls out its AI tools, I'm going to be paying very close attention to those. They haven't been, you know, sharing a lot of information about what the data set is going to be with the Adobe tools. And we don't know, we don't what, you know, what is it going to be stable diffusion based? Are they training their own AI? They didn't really say any of that. So look, I've been using Photoshop for like 25, 26 years. It's, it's something ridiculous, right? And if, if Adobe makes a move that I'm not happy with, I will bail. I will absolutely start over with a new piece of software and just figure out how to make it work. And that is totally fine. And it would be regrettable. It would be very much, very much regrettable. And I would, I would hope that, uh, you know, Adobe would maybe get met with this kind of backlash, but, but Photoshop is a little different. Uh, Clip Studio Paint is a much smaller application. Their community is, is basically their entire bread and butter where Photoshop has kind of got its tendrils in a lot of different things. There's a lot of recreational users and, and who knows what to say. But if there's a lesson learned from this, it's that being vocal, voicing your opinions as loud as you can about how you feel about this, these models works. I mean, at this point, that is more or less the only tool that we have. And in so many cases, I've seen, you know, either bad actors who abuse these systems, just, you know, end users actually who abuse these systems who have been greeted, <laughs> maybe greeted is not really the right word, who have been basically admonished, is that a nice word, for getting just destroyed online for for pretty much reprehensible behavior. And I, I am firmly in the camp that I think there should be consequences for doing disgusting things. And I think you should be able to learn from those and become better as a person. So to let people get away with things like this is a non-starter. And this is a this is a very clear example of success here. The community voiced their opinions very loudly, very swiftly, very immediately, and extremely decisively. And this company, to their credit and to their credit for their bottom line, they completely backed down. And And you know what I would like to see? I would very much like to see them be the first ones to implement a legit ethical AI portal. Now, I personally, I'd just rather them just not do it at all. But they've obviously got AI on the brain. And if they're going to do it, they should do what DeviantArt didn't do. You know, they already did what DeviantArt didn't do. And that's listen to their community. Now, DeviantArt and Clip Studio Paint do very different things. Obviously, DeviantArt is like a display place, you know, so gallery type of thing. This is an actual creation software. So they have a very kind of different user base, obviously. But I would have loved to see DeviantArt back down because that sets a precedent. But this, even though they're smaller, this does set a precedent because... You know, we don't want to see ArtStation do what DeviantArt did, but they very well, very well, they very well might. ArtStation is owned by Epic Games. So, you know, it's really hard to say where they're going to approach that from. ArtStation is not like an independently artist owned platform. DeviantArt was definitely not. A, a artist owned independent platform it's owned by the people who own wix they're like silicon valley tech people they don't really give a crap about artists this is just their business model yeah i mean this is a huge win i'm i'm feeling pretty good about this i mean look it, it's real easy to get down and all this stuff you see tons and tons of videos on youtube you see articles in the newspaper that are just glorifying this and and glossing over the legit ethical concerns the major privacy concerns and these are not things that are isolated to just the art generation sort of model i mean this sort of data privacy and uh just straight up piracy and pilfering of people's private data is is becoming very widespread it's medical records 
very private medical records, and it's it's gone beyond just data scraping. It's not just, you know, at this point, it's really not even just like let's scrape publicly available things like ArtStation or DeviantArt or Pinterest. They're actually actively hacking into low security medical databases and stealing information. So, you know, if you're an AI model maker and you wanted, you need the data, like the algorithms are completely useless without the data you feed into them. That's just a fact. So this is going to become more widespread. So even though this isn't the biggest victory, this is definitely a victory and we should celebrate it. Don't give up. Don't don't get quiet. Don't say, you know what, screw it, I'm out. I'm going to go figure out something else to do. Like, keep your voices up. Keep being vocal. You know, some people can be angry. Use whatever language you want. If you want to approach the conversation in a very methodical and case-driven way, that's great. If you want to come at it from an emotional place where you're just like, just laying fire and brimstone, you do that too. There's plenty of voices out there. We have room for the wide range of expressive qualities. And that's it, guys. So big win. High five to you guys. Good job, everyone on Twitter who just absolutely destroyed these guys for their stupid and tone-deaf decision to incorporate stable diffusion after the DeviantArt debacle. So, yeah. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. I'll see you guys in the wars to come.